All right, are we rolling? Yep. Hi, my name is Mark Gander. I'm in charge of marketing and product development for JBL Professional. And our nominee for the Plaza Awards is the VTX V25 full-size line array product. It's a double 15-inch three-way product. Um, it includes a number of innovative uh, details in terms of the transducers, the waveguide, the componentry, the rigging. Uh, the JBL Vertec has been uh, one of the industry standards in line arrays for a dozen years, and this VTX line is the next generation of that product. This is a full-size line array with 15-inch woofers. Starting with the 15-inch woofer here, JBL has a number of patents on what we call differential drive. This is actually a neodymium magnet, two voice coils on the same voice coil tube that's driving the cone, and a heat sink nest around the whole assembly. This 15-inch driver was purpose-built for the V25. It's the first time we've done two four-inch voice coils. So the driver actually has a 2,000-watt AES pink noise rating, or 8,000-watt peaks, and we have two of these drivers in the VTX V25. Um, well, actually, the, the magnetic gaps are, 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 are counter-charged, so they're, they're actually working in concert. So you actually have, as if you have two complete motors, but they're integrated under, under, on one tube and one assembly driving the cone. Also in uh, the, the system has uh, two of these aluminum baffles. Uh, so the aluminum baffle allows heat sinking for the drivers, but also allows us to integrate the parts in as compact a uh, line array as possible. This, this V25 is actually two and a half inches shorter than the previous Vertec 4889 model. So by getting it shorter, we get better coupling, better high frequency energy. So again, an, an investment in tooling uh, and an investment in uh, integrating the parts in a, in a more direct fashion. The, the uh, waveguide element we call an RBI, a radiation boundary integrator. What that does is the compression drivers, three of them, go through and fire out the middle. The sides of this act as the, as the waveguide, act as the horn, if you will. And then the four eight-inch cone drivers fire through these phasing plugs. The slots provide the loading factor. Uh, just like a compression driver, only using a, a cone driver, and four of those come out and radiate through the sides. This is a next generation design. We actually have two patents on the radiation boundary integ integrator that was used in the Vertec. This next generation design also uses resonators on the sides to cancel uh, any uh, reflections back from the front. So uh, uh, not only do we get a smoother curve, but this next generation also provides much more precise horizontal pattern control for the uh, mids and high frequencies. The real um, most innovative story uh, in putting these elements together is the high frequency element. We call this the D2 driver because it's actually two voice coils and two diaphragms integrated into one compression driver. This is an exploded view of the D2. If you'll notice, you see there's there's sort of a hole down the middle and there's that cone-shaped thing there. There's actually two facing plugs, two voice coils, and two diaphragms. If you look very closely, you can see the copper from the, or rather aluminum wire from the voice coil there. And the voice coil is an annulus, like the original JBL bullet or slot tweeter designs from the 1950s, but using that annular uh, diaphragm design, you don't have the dome in the center. You have the voice coil, you have a V-shaped, inner and outer diaphragm, but no dome. So by getting rid of the dome, we actually eliminate all those breakup modes that typically go on in the upper octave or two on a compression driver. We're just using the V, the inner and outer annulus diaphragms, and they're clamped on the outside edges and clamped in the center by the driving voice coil. So you get very, very good control by using two of those uh, diaphragms, two pairs of the annular diaphragms, we get the same equivalent area as a lo single large compression driver, but without the, the breakup modes, uh, the dr driver actually goes out to beyond 30 kilohertz, it's 10 dB down at 40 kilohertz or so, so very extended response, very smooth response, and very low distortion, no subharmonics and no breakup. So the D2 driver, three of them mounted on the RBI. Uh, it really is, is what uh, makes this a very dramatic, uh, different next generation in uh, line array technology.
Um, additionally, uh, there, there's a lot of facilities we, uh, we, in terms of the rigging and suspension. Uh, we have uh, our patented rigging assembly that was done for the uh, original Vertec. There's actually uh, a, a change in the uh, way you, you can adjust the rigging so it's more precise in terms of the, the stepping for the amount of degrees and, and angle relative one box to another. Um, there's also a laser uh, for, uh, that you would typically mount one, one left and right on the top box. Uh, we have a line array calculator that computes uh, the, and predicts what the shape of the array should be to aim it at the seating plane, the, the audience area. The laser allows you to put, mount that physically on the top of the array and aim it out uh, uh, to the corresponding point that you've predicted and make sure you've, you've positioned the array trim height and, and angular uh, selections to, to properly cover the audience. And overall, we, uh, the Crown Amplifiers provides a V-Rack that's designed to work with the VTX V25 and there's also performance manager software. In addition to the modeling software, performance manager software in action allows you to implement the tunings. We have a next generation of tunings we call V5 that we've done for the older Vertec and we've also done it for the new VTX through the JBL performance manager software in real time as you're doing the gig. You can monitor and control the amplifiers to control the performance of the full array. Actually, if you could spin the camera around right behind us here, or one of our, our first pur purchase partners, AED, and you can see a phone array. There's one of the subwoofers up on top. We actually have two double 18-inch subwoofers also with that differential drive, dual 4-inch voice coil assembly. The top is a single one of the S28s, the suspendable subwoofers, and there's an array of four of the V25 uh, three-way line array elements. We also have a G28 ground stack that, that dispenses with the, the rigging and suspension. So that's kind of an overview of all the different elements. Uh, JBL is one of the unique manufacturers in the fact that we actually design our own components. So we're not only designing the system, integrating it with the electronics, but we design the components like the D2 driver and the differential drive woofers that allow you to, to fully choose what is the proper parts to integrate into the system and then make the system do the job for the, the mixer and the rental company. What kind of distortion are you achieving on the, uh, on the high frequency amp? Um, well, we, we, we eliminate the subharmonics, which all dome type compression drivers are, uh, are subject to. Um, I think if there, there is an AES paper on the, the D2 driver. It's been published and it's, it's available. Um, if I remember correctly, it's on the order of 20 dB lower in the top two octaves, 5K to, to 20K. I mean, it, it, the driver actually goes out to 30 or 40K, but most of us can stop whistling around 20K or so. <laughs>